Hey guys, welcome back to more Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, and uh, unfortunately, I had recorded like six minutes of this already, and my power went out, and everything just went So, I know it's coming up for the next six minutes or so, and uh, where we left off, so we had to head into the school, because Rain, I believe her name is, wanted us to meet her here. Wow, these are all drawings of Lloyd. Humans never cease to amaze me. Let's have a look at these. I never would have pegged you as an art buff, Tenebrae. How rude. How rude. It's my favorite line of his. <laughs> look how this one appears to have been drawn by Paul, the boy you saved. How derpy the one on the bottom right is. I love Lloyd. Hmm. How come everyone? Someone's coming. Sorry that took so long. Oh, you've been looking at the drawings. It looks like this one was drawn by Paul, right? He certainly is a big fan of Lloyd's. Awkward silence. Paul's father passed away two years ago when the Desayans suddenly attacked Asalia. Lloyd was the one who caused the incident. Well, actually, Lloyd and my brother, that is. So then, why does he... When his father died, he stopped smiling and closed himself in. Lloyd found out when he returned from the journey of world regeneration. He went to Paul's house every day, even though Paul's mother, Lilia, tried to get him to stop. But Lloyd was persistent. Then one day out of the blue, he proposed to Lilia. Proposed? Yes. I think Lloyd wanted to take on the role of Paul's father. And in order to do that, he thought he needed to marry Lilia and make her his wife. But that's ridiculous. <laughs> Lilia was mortified. She was so upset, she took a tomato and threw it right at Lloyd. Lloyd instinctively hit it, which sent it flying at Lilia, and it hit her right in the face. Before they knew it, tomatoes were flying all over the place. When they realized what happened, Paul and Lilia began laughing for the first time in months. I don't want to hear this crap anymore. Everyone's always all, Lloyd this and Lloyd that. I'm sick of it! Why are you even telling us this stupid story in the first place? The mayor told me all about the two of you. I think that you should know that I was Lloyd's teacher. I traveled with him for a long time. You wanted to know why everybody here defends Lloyd, correct? Enough! I don't want to hear any more about how Lloyd is innocent in all this! Oh, really? When did I say that? Wait, what do you mean? Are you telling us that you don't trust Lloyd? I thought you were supposed to be his friend. Trusting Lloyd and believing the reports of what happened in Palma Costa are two entirely different things. Furthermore, Lloyd's character and past doings have no bearing on what happened in Palma Costa. Calm yourselves. Otherwise, you will be blind to everything, including the truth. But why would you even care? Maybe I don't care. Unbelievable! Marta... Marta, wait! Marta left the party. She like rage quit. Ah, I run away. <laughs> so we should go find her. Um, unfortunately, this is where it's going to play into the fact that. I wonder what's wrong with Marta. Hmm. Why don't we look for her? I can still feel Lady Marta's presence in town. I doubt she's gone very far. Okay. Where I, when I played this already, and kind of figured out where she went, and it's, uh, yeah. So I, I ran all over the town before asking people. They don't ever say anything different besides, um, 
Well, I wish all the monsters would go away from the human ranch, but that's about it. So there she is, up by the pond. Marta, why'd you run off like that? Rain seemed like she was on our side. I can't stand people like that. Marta. Rain was Lloyd's friend, so how could she say such cold things about him? If it was me and someone was saying bad things about you, I'd defend you to the end. I mean, you're my friend. I'd get so mad if someone was bad-mouthing you. I'd give him a piece of my mind. I get it now. So that's why everyone defends Lloyd. Huh? There's no point in me getting mad at people just for saying they like Lloyd. We're the same. It's so obvious, but I didn't see it at all. I was too busy being angry. Perhaps that's why Rain suggested that you calm down. Anyone would become mad if someone they liked and trusted was insulted. With that attitude, it's unlikely she'd have told you where Lloyd was, even if she knew. Am I wrong? You're right, Tenebrae. Come on, Marta. Let's go back and talk to Rain. Maybe she'll help us if we explain. All right. Marta, join the party. Marta, you were not gone for very long. Hello, puppy. Hello. What is it, Emmy? What is love? You look puzzled. I was just thinking about something I found strange about Rain. Strange? Yeah. I thought she'd be really scary when she was scolding Paul. She wasn't at all. When my aunt and uncle scolded me, it was terrifying. I hated them for it. Perhaps you sense the love behind Rain's words. Oh, well, yeah. I guess my aunt and uncle didn't really love me. Tenebrae, stop that! You're only going to make him more depressed talking about things that you don't know about, like love. How rude. I will have you know that I understand love perfectly well. Love is a brand of egoism that ignores the feelings of its mark while insisting on its own selfish demands. <sighs> right, that's, that's exactly what they meant by loving words. <laughs> All right, let's go back in and see if she will uh, help us out a little bit. Roll. Um, about before. You don't have to apologize. To you, the fact is, Lloyd is the man who killed your parents. But you must understand there are also those who were saved by Lloyd, and they owe him their lives. So do you trust Lloyd? I don't see how my opinion would aid you. I don't get it. You were Lloyd's teacher and friend, right? That's right. I like Lloyd. I think that he's a person I can count on. Those facts haven't changed. But people change, for better or for worse. I don't know what kind of person Lloyd is now. My faith in him is not enough reason to contradict the accounts of those who suffered in the attack on Palma Costa. That's my opinion on the matter. I'm not sure I totally understand. Are you saying you believe us? I'm saying that I believe that the attack on Palma Costa happened, not that I personally trust you. You don't trust us? Do the two of you trust me? We haven't known each other for all that long. I think we both have yet to prove whether we deserve each other's trust. You're just being difficult. <laughs> Is that any way to talk to someone who might have information about Lloyd? Yes, yes it is. You know where he went? If you tell me about your journey, specifically about the Centurion's Corps, then I'll give you a hint. How do you know about the Centurion's Corps? Colette told me about you already. When you told me your names at the human ranch, I knew who you were. Marta, what should we do? Let's tell her. Colette wasn't out to get us, and I don't think Rain is either. Yada yada, here's my story. Very interesting. A knight of Ratatosk, you say? That's good for now. I'll leave the questions for later. 
Now then, regarding Lloyd's whereabouts, there's someone in town who says he saw him recently. Really? Yes, Colette's neighbor, Pepe. Let's go and talk to him. To Pepe! Run! <laughs> uh, so I think after this episode, I'm going to try a new way of recording, uh, bypassing my capture card. Um, for the Wii, it doesn't really seem that beneficial to use my capture card and then sync the audio and whatnot. I think I'm going to play it through my capture card and then record it separately. I don't know which one's Pepe. I'm going to say it's this guy. No, it's just man. Um, because... I mean, it's just right there, and on screen, like that I see, I think it looks better than what I do after I get the capture, like the capture card video, and then the audio syncs. So, I'm gonna try that next time, I think. Professor Sage. Pepe, I'm sorry to bother you, but can you tell these two about when you saw Lloyd? But aren't they out for revenge against Lloyd? That's just a big misunderstanding, I assure you. Well, if you say so, Professor Sage. Not too long ago, I saw him on a strange flying thing headed towards the tree at Ruins. It was definitely Lloyd. I'd know that spiky hair anywhere. Really? Thank you so much! Emil, let's hurry! We might still be able to catch up with them! Right! Hold on, I'd like to go with you. Why? I was Lloyd's teacher. If he really has strayed, I need to set him back on the right path again. Also, the fact that he's after the Centurion's cores troubles me. Six months ago, he was on a quest to collect X-Spheres. It was an important mission to him. He promised his father he'd complete it. His father? Do you mean Dirk? Anyway. I'm interested to know why Lloyd would abandon his quest for X-Spheres to look for Centurion's cores. What do you think? Let's have her come with us. With her along, we might be able to find out more about what happened in Palma Costa. Yeah. Then it's settled. I look forward to traveling with you. All right, we actually got another party member other than my, or if she fights with us at least, other than my little ghost and whatnot um, bear. Yes, what is it? Uh, oh, it's nothing. If you have nothing to say, don't call out to others. Sorry. I thought you weren't afraid of Ray. She used her teacher voice on me. I couldn't help it. <laughs> All right, so we have to go to the tree at Ruins, and uh, we have our new party member. Let's see, can we feed anybody? Uh, cooking. Ooh. Jarn, Hyundai, Oceanus. Alright, Jarn, you're gonna... Rain's gonna cook for you, and she's... Why do we only have crap? Rice ball from her. Enjoy! Didn't like it. Too bad. French of the curry. Barley and kelp? That's disgusting. Two two bowls. Uh, Volvo the Grizzly? Heck yeah. I don't know what good that would do, but we're awesome. <laughs> Emil, you're gonna cook for... This guy. I really wish I could get... How do you get freaking new ingredients? Made of rice with green tea? Didn't like it? Pudge. Let's go Volvo. Uh, the Red Ogre? Yeah! And Marta, I guess we'll do for Osh. Do the last one. Yeah. A rice ball. He says it's good. Great. First level increased. 44. Dexterity went down and sink went up. That's why. Okay, never mind. I understand. I think the sink changed class. Became a Nixie. That's weird. Prayer of Resurrection. Yeah, so they're sync when they sync with us. That's when uh, they do the double attack with us. That's awesome. I didn't. I really need to figure that out. <laughs> it only took this long. Oh yeah, Marta. We should introduce Rain to Tenebrae. Oh right. How may I be of service? 
A talking animal? No, a monster. Oh, you're the one Colette was talking about. Tenebi, correct? <laughs> it's Tenebrae. You seem like an intelligent person. I am grateful for your assistance. You don't feel quite the same as a summon spirit. Much closer to a monster. No doubt because I employ monsters as my servants. Very interesting indeed. I'd love to learn more about it. We must talk later. It would be my pleasure. Wow, Rain is totally unfazed. Yeah, no kidding. I guess she's just naturally composed. All right, but you guys, I think, uh, I think we'll, oh, never mind, we'll watch this. Come on, come back, come back. I saw, there you are. So, Rain, you're a half-elf, right? Do the two of you fear half-elves as well? I was always taught that half-elves were evil, but you don't seem any different from us. I leave it to you to form your own opinions of me. To be honest, half-elves do sort of frighten me. But I don't want to think you're a bad person just because of your race. Some humans are bad people, too. I see. What complicated creatures these humanoids are. But, all right. Like I was saying, I think I'm going to end off the part here, and I uh, will see you guys next time. So, till then, TLG, out. <laughs>